Guys, it's Fonzie here with DipYourCar.com. Now we've got a really interesting car today going with a really interesting color. We've got a Jetta Sport Wagon here. And if you guys remember on Facebook, we did a poll. We wanted to see which color you guys wanted to see next, the Blue Steel or the Sunset Orange. Now the Blue Steel won by a landslide. We got a lot of people on the forums and Facebook saying, whatever happened to the Sunset Orange, you guys forgot about it. So today is the day we're doing Sunset Orange. Now that is a mixture of the Dip Your Car exclusive Koi Orange and Yellow. Now we would think that would be about a 50-50 split as far as the mixture, but through testing we learned that the Koi Orange is very, very powerful. In fact, it overpowers the yellow by quite a bit. When we did a 50-50 mix, it almost looked just a little off from the Koi Orange. So we're gonna do three gallons of yellow to one gallon of Koi Orange. So we'll take you through the mixing process, we'll take you through the preparation, and obviously the spraying process and the end result. Fonzie from Dip Your Car, Sunset Orange Dip. Enjoy the video. All right, now these are the materials that we need for the Sunset Orange. We got three gallons of Rubber Dip S in standard yellow and one gallon of the Koi. Now, as you guys have seen in the other videos, it's really, really important to mix and blend the gallons before you get them into the mixing bucket or before you, you pour them into the gun. And this yellow is a really example, a good example of why. Right now, it has this milky kind of clear looking yellow. When all the tint and the sediment from the bottom comes up and starts to blend, you'll see what happens to the yellow. gallon one of yellow is going into the mixing bucket. I want to make sure we didn't leave any tint on the bottom of the gallon. All right, now we got our three gallons of yellow and now we're going to mix our one gallon of Koi Orange. All right, now we're gonna blend these up really well. Okay, right here we have our standard yellow. This is the Koi Orange, and then right here is our Sunset Orange. And as you can see, and like I told you, that Koi Orange, the pigment is very, very powerful. So just one gallon to the three gallons of yellow has pulled the Sunset Orange really far away from the standard yellow. And actually what it's going to do is, as you guys know, the Plasti Dip dries a little bit lighter than what you see here. So it's actually going to be even a little bit lighter than this. So we're going to load it up into the 3500, use the Pro Car Kit, pre-dip the car with some microfiber towels, and go ahead and shoot this thing. Now as far as prepping the car, if you have a really dirty car, obviously one of the best things to do is wash the car. Now keep in mind, if you wash the car, you want to give it a really long drying time. Don't wash the car, towel dry, and then try to dip it a couple hours later. There's going to be moisture and there's going to be wetness and water in all the cracks of the car that you don't see. If that's there and you dip your car and you come back, those moisture areas are actually going to make the Plasti Dip recede back and lift away from the lines. So what we do is if the car is really dirty, we'll wash it, we'll leave it out in the sun all day, and then we'll dip it that night. Before we dip it, we pre-dip it just to make sure that there's nothing on the car as far as wax or oil or grease or anything like that. Now this car is relatively clean, so all we're going to do is we're going to utilize the microfiber towel and the pre-dip and then we're just going to prepare the surface. Now the microfiber towel automatically comes in the Pro Car Kit from DipYourCar.com. There's two different types of Pro Car Kits. There's the standard version and then there's the, the Plus version. The Plus version comes with the uh, pre-dip, a respirator so you can protect yourself from breathing, and then also the tape and drape which you're going to see us use to mask the windows and stuff like that. So as far as pre-dipping, if it's a wide open surface area like this, we'll just lightly mist the area and then we'll use the microfiber towel, make sure that we don't miss any areas, and just give the, uh, the surface of the car a good cleaning. Now, if you have any areas like around the headlights and stuff, what I like to do is actually spray it onto the towel and then clean that area, just so that we don't oversaturate the lines and get any pre-dip in there that we won't be able to get out when it's time to dip. All right, now this is the tape and drape. Basically, it's a lot of folded up plastic here attached to an adhesive tape on top. Now this comes in the Pro Car Kit Plus as well. Now is this necessary? No, of course not. But it actually makes the process a lot easier. It's just one of those things to help you streamline the application. And what we're gonna do is, 
Uh, on this car specifically, and uh, like a lot of the Volkswagens, the rubber seam actually touches and makes contact with the top of the car here. There's no separation or a gap. So what we're gonna have to do in order to get a nice clean line is on the last coat, while the last coat is still wet, we're gonna pop these doors open. That way the plastic while it's wet, we'll cut ourselves a nice clean line. If you went over this with your last coat and you let it dry and you tried to pop this door open, it would stretch and break the plastic dip and it would make a jagged edge all the way across. So because the car is going to make the line for us, what we're going to do is we're going to take the tape and drape and we're going to use the adhesive tape part right into the middle section of this rubber seam here. We're going to go all the way across, grab some scissors. cut the end of it. And now what this will do is we can unfold this plastic here straight to the bottom seal down here. And now we're going to tape this and I'll show you how to do that. We'll tape this along this seal as well. Now what's going to happen is we're going to have plastic dip that's going to build up along this rubber seam. And when we're done with our last coat, we're going to pop the door open That'll cut the line and then we'll just peel off the extra plastic dip on this rubber seam and we'll be good to go. All right guys, what I have behind me is the end result with the sunset orange. Now the way that we mix this color is we did three gallons of standard yellow rubber dip S and we used one gallon of the koi orange rubber dip S and we mix them together. Now, two things about this color. The first is a lot of people are gonna ask, why didn't you just use yellow dip your car tints from the dip your car tint kit and add that to the koi? Well, with testing, we found out that it took a lot of the dip your car tints to get the koi to pull away from that standard koi. Now, if you guys have ever used koi orange before, you know that it covers extremely well. It's got very strong pigments. So it would have taken a ton of tints to use that or to get that koi orange away from koi and over to this sunset. 
So what we did is we started with a yellow based product, used a little bit of koi to pull it away from the yellow much easier. The second thing is this, whenever you're using white Plasti Dip, uh, yellow, straight yellow or even straight red, sometimes depending on the color of the car, it works best to use a gunmetal gray base coat. A lot of you guys have seen our video on how to get better results using white Plasti Dip. If you have a gunmetal gray base coat, the white, the red, and the yellow build up a lot faster, you get much better coverage. Now, I thought that the Koi would bring that yellow over to the better coverage side and we wouldn't need a, a base coat at all. Well, with a black car, if I was gonna do this project over again, I would definitely use a gunmetal gray base coat for it because it, the whole uh, color scheme was basically 75% yellow. So we got the coverage that we needed we used the three gallons of yellow, one gallon of koi without a base coat. We got the project done, but we did probably three or four, maybe even five extra coats that we normally wouldn't have done. If you're gonna do this project, or if you're gonna use white, red, or a yellow base, just try to think about using a gunmetal gray base coat depending on the color of the car. Now, regardless, we used the Pro Car Kit. Everything you saw us use today is available at dipyourcar.com. If you have any questions, customer service at Dip Your Car. It's Fonzie, I'll see you in the next video.